Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm coming to you with another acrylic pour today. So hopefully you're uh, in on your acrylic pouring art journey and joining me on some of these pours. Ideas. I know lots of people have been commenting that they've tried different uh, techniques that I've put up and they're enjoying the process and that's what it's all about is just enjoying this process it's definitely artist therapy to escape to your studio whether it be on your own or with a friend um, it's just a really lovely pastime today I am using three different makes of paint I'm using some Amsterdam I'm using the PBO and this one is the uh, blue very iridescent I'll tell you what I've done with that and I'm using some global paints uh, I've used I'm using the three different brands together so I'm going to this is a 40 by 40 centimeter canvas and I'll just explain um, what I'm doing as I go along so I just wanted to share you this was some bit of resin that I had left over from the pour that I did my um, galaxy pour it was some resin that was left over and I just played with it the shimmer in it is absolutely fantastic really really shimmery but it's only a thin layer of resin on there so I'm going to go over this my husband cut me out some MDF boards I suppose they're about I don't know maybe three four five mil thick so they won't bend or anything so they were really good for me to practice resin art because I want to actually do artwork in resin um, so that was a bit of fun so I'm gonna do one of those sometime this week but today I will get down to um, this little trial that I'm doing so first this is just pre-made this is the global white with my pouring medium that's listed below so I'm just going to cover my canvas first of all um, with the paint. I'm going to use my little offset spatula, just my favourite tool at the moment. So I did uh, go past a homeware shop the other day and find a few more. So they were on sale. So that's another little offset spatula that I bought. And this was all out of the uh, cake icing department um, so I just find that when they're offset they're far easier to handle as a when you're dealing with fluid acrylics so much easier and I've got a real big one there the offset big one that's used for icing cakes but it's great when I do a big a real big canvas because I can just go over it real whiz this is very thin paint. I'm thinking that oh, this is not thick enough. Very thin. I should have done um, Dutch pour with this. It's so thin. But I, I yeah, got a little bit of goobies in there. Never mind. That won't hurt anybody. So it's obviously coming to the end of my container and it needs a good clean out before I make any more up in there. I just wanted to have a quick go at um, doing this um, <laughs> it's too big for this canvas this was my uh, like window wiper like a big long window w wiper and I attached a piece of the soft plastic file divider quite a long time ago and now I can see it's it's coming off but I wanted to see if I could do the um, flow troll swipe and see if it laced up the canvas so what I mean is I'm just this is a, just a trial if it doesn't work I will just wipe it off but I wanted to just see because I will definitely do this on a larger canvas so this is just the soft plastic file divider putting it in the very tippy toe oh wow 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 Oh my goodness! Look at that! Piece of art! Da -da. <laughs> There's your art! No more! A huge big canvas doing that across it! How cool is that? 
too cool for school. Okay, well that worked brilliantly. But that canvas is way too small for this now. I'm thinking of doing it on my real big uh, two foot by two foot canvas that I've got. So that worked and I'll tell you what this was. I made up the Amsterdam. I used this purple permanent blue violet. I added a squeeze of the carmine and a squeeze of the greenish blue to make kind of this it's like my berry delicious so it's a real berry color so that's what I did in the Amsterdam and then only added Floetrol I just added Floetrol to it nothing else so look at that monochrome 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 piece of art without um, without really like you could do that you could definitely do that on a really large canvas and do some wisps off it or I mean that's just beautiful look it just that's just gorgeous as it is absolutely gorgeous as it is so there you go this is my big uh, cheapy window wiper and I just cut out some soft plastic file divider because I found the plastic on the end of this was too hard and it went too far into the canvas but now that gives me brilliant idea so now to use this with this in it I have to bring this down and show you the cells see if I can do it from up there I don't seem to be able to come right in close but I'm guessing you can see look at that that is just gorgeous lace well it's more lacing isn't it lovely lace lovely lace okie doke I will bring the canvas over this way a little because I can see that it's a bit willy, winky wonky um, now I'm going to try these lovely colours in here and I will explain them as I go along so I'm thinking, thinking, thinking that I should, okay, I've got the orange, this is like basic, this, this is like a burnt orange, it's not as bright as the fluoro, so it's a, and I haven't, I normally add yellow to make it go really bright, but I haven't added the yellow to this, so I'm going to just keep this the orange but actually before I do that I'm going to put down this was um, burnt umber with black so it would go into a real sort of black blacky brown I'm gonna try and keep it around the side I'm gonna leave that in there actually because that is just gorgeous and I now that's just given me so many more ideas to utilize that technique in other pores so that's a good thing add a bit more just the white that I've got made up that's a little bit thicker than the what I've got in the bottle so they're all made up with the pouring medium that I have in the description box below this video righty ho I'm gonna add some of the cool red so this one is the um, global cool red so as you're seeing it's going to have a real mixture of all the different paint brands in here to kind of show you that it doesn't matter what paint you've got you should still be able to get most of the techniques to work for you and then this is the gold metallic gold mind Ooh. That's, that just sort of really sets a lovely scene now this was called it was um, a global color called skin tint tone or something but I'm not sure if they have it anymore because I've had this global 
this particular um, one for a while so I'd have to check if you well, I have added a bit of white to tone it down but certainly not my skin tone okay I am going to add a bit of that very delicious now this was the one that's made out of the Amsterdam so And to really had some pop in there is where I'll add the PBO iridescent very iridescent blue so look at that that's mixed with my pouring medium and as you see I've been adding like a good dash of um, Floetrol I've got no silicone in these I have nothing against using silicone it's just that I've had such lovely results using the um, Floetrol for lacing but I'll certainly be doing some more with the um, silicone in for sure now I might I have some um, this is the um, Amsterdam titanium white just mixed with Floetrol so I've got it in these squirty bottles that are available from the online supplier Capriol Shabby Chic if you're in Australia these are a really good sturdy bottle I'm gonna add a bit of this of course I'm always going overboard on I with my colors but let's see what we can get I am going to whiz over this with the magic wand my wonder wand I have a couple of these and I love them instead of butane getting rid of the any air bubbles that are there getting rid of them that should be plenty that looks so cool I'm so happy with that now I'm not sure whether to use my mini blower I'll, I'll give it a go it might be too too blowy for what I want or I might just straw blow it oh, I need a proper organized duvalaki drawer next to me okay this is the mini blower the world's smallest mini blower I got mine from Capriol Shabby Chic the link is in the drop down box if you're in UK Europe you can get them off Amazon so I believe so I'm going to just try it see how I go I might have to straw blow this because no I want to straw blow it I want to straw blow it I can keep let's give this a go blue gorgeous Looks smashing. Well, I don't think I've used those colours together, but they're going to look perfect. Definitely could have had that white that's underneath a lot thicker.
Now, smashing. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my balloon's just gone down. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm feeling deflated. <gasps> oh, twit, twit, twit. Okay, put another one there. Put another one. It's another, is this one good enough? Okie okay, doke. Balloon kiss, balloon smash, balloon dip, whatever you choose to call it, you can push it well into the canvas and if the consistency of the paint is correct, it should be absolutely fine to go back in again. Look, and it just brings all the colours up and it brings up the magic in your pour. And it's just my favourite thing to do it really is as you know I try all sorts but of course every time I do these they never come out the same they're always different so and they're such a pleasure to do so do what gives you joy people just do what gives you joy see that's all run back in but wipe your balloon off and go back over the same spot if you've got the consistency of the paint correct then no dramas. But it is highly um, beneficial to walk away and leave your paint if you're not a really good balloon kisser. Because if you leave your paint to absorb into the canvas, you'll find that doing your balloon kisses is so much easier. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh my goodness. Love it, love it, love it. <gasps> Oh, please don't ruin this, Miss Jilly. This is just the, the little water balloon. Well, it's just an ordinary balloon that I've put with a little bit of tap water in it. And it just gives it that little bit of weight. It, it, it finishes off some lovely detail in your balloon kissing, for sure. It is. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I mean... Slap my hand, somebody. I need to walk away from it. I love that is a whole new look with the kiss and blow technique. I absolutely must leave that because I, I need to do this on a big canvas. Hey, I've got a bit of negative space. I've got this lace. And look at this. The colours are perfect. Just perfect together if you want. Oh, I don't know it just brings me joy and I hope that it does to you too brings me a lot of joy so what better in life to have a pastime that actually brings you so much joy you know it's just the perfect thing for me and it's a perfect thing for a lot of you people that are going through this COVID thing because you know it kind of makes you forget all the drama least for a few hours but look at that I love it and I really need to just walk away from it because I don't want to do anything that spoils it I'm just gonna finish off around this edge here please let me know if you love it if you've got an idea for a different composition um, but I am definitely gonna do that great big Aussie slide through a large canvas and then embellish it in the same with the pork pour and blow and kiss technique so wowzers trousers guys wait on for the end photos thank you so much for joining me today and again tomorrow i'm here every day if you haven't already subscribed please do so i appreciate it and join me again tomorrow so um yeah let me know what you think take care you people until tomorrow bye for now